thing that you do that is strange or outside the practices of Islam will lead you to the wrong way. And each of the wrong way that you thread on lead you to the Jahannam. May Allah save us from the Jahannam. Of course, as humans, we don't have the authority to know or to tell that we are on our path to the, to the Jahannam. Because only Allah knows. In Allah, Ali will be that which we do. Allah knows what is in the bottom of our hearts. And it's a way to the thing, even before we don't do something. He already knows. But we do have the authority to explain that some of the things that we do is the wrong thing and it's leading to that path. So we ask Allah to direct us and save us from that part of the Jahannam. After that, we praise and we tell Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, thanks. Because why? La ina the only one we fit for the praise. He is the Almighty. Al Qadir, the one who has all the powers. So we have the right, inshallah, to give him all the praise. Even for allowing us today to attend this Juma prayer. It's a wonderful, wonderful blessing. May Allah continue to give us the health and strength to, to be attending the Juma and to worship him always. We also praise Allah, Allah is Zayan Surah to the Insan, the Usni Taqwin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who has made us human beings into perfection in terms of our builds. The design where Allah makes we mortal man is just too perfect. There is no designer that can do as Allah has done. But that Allah has Azraku wal Ajal. Also, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is responsible for our sustenance, our provision in this life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then they give me and you for it. Then they give me and you for well. Then they give me and you for get place for sleep. Our clothing, our feeding, and our shelter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all responsible for that. And also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is responsible for a period of stay in this life. When I am to burn, how and when I am to live, and how and when I am to die. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows he is responsible.
الذي بوئت ليتم من مكارم الأخلاق That is a description of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He was sent to correct and to confirm our character, our etiquette in life. وَرَفَعَنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَةً Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. His name will always be there, topmost, high. That's why whenever his name is called, we say. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. And we get a reward for just saying that. Anytime we have that reward. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to. Because he and his angel too confirm that they, they, they praise and they send prayers for the Holy Prophet Muhammad. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the kutubah inshallah we are going to discuss about his house the fighting life that is the masjid or anywhere we not only can find we don't designate them as an area of prayer. They don't become better land. So which means all the etiquette, all the character associated with the Baiti land in relation to you, the mortal man, should be given to that place of prayer. It's not just any other place, but it is a designed place or designated place for worshipping. And that becomes the Baiti land, the house of what do we do in the places of prayer? The Baiti Allah is we praise the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the mornings and in the evenings. So the what comes? Fajr in the morning. Zuri Asli, Mahdi bin Shai. It spans during that period of morning to evening. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Man bana al-masjida yuskaru fihi ismu Allah, banna lahu lahu baytan fil jannah. Anyone who raises a house, who builds a masjid, for the sake of Allah, that Allah's name should be praised and worshipped, Allah will build a masjid, a house for you in Jannah. Now, in particular to this masjid, in Yilin, there were groups of people yesterday, 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 they came together and decided we are going to raise the house for Allah. If their intention, and I don't know that, Allah's one and Allah only knows, their sincere intention was to seek the face of Allah, the way you love, when you screw Allah, to praise the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah will give them a house in Al Jannah. If you by yourself, are you put your money? Hello? Thousands of dollars. Let's, let's raise the most for the worship of Allah. And I will give you that reward in Jannah. If it's a group of you, as was in the case here, Allah will give you that reward in Jannah. So this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, and this is what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is confirming. That you will raise the house of Allah, reward you Allah, to seek the pleasure of Allah, to seek the face of Allah, where you still on God, to praise the name of Allah, then you will have that reward in Jannah. As I say, I don't know that intention, only Allah knows. And the people want to have, forget that sincere intention. Well, how that sincere intention come to pass? That indeed, we don't do this. Those of our claims, man, I say, Namiyo. Nami they in control. Nami they do what they want for do. And Nami they allow what they want for allow. And they get what they want for them. No. Of course, the masjid has to have authority that can govern the most. 
and the government of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying. That you maintain the house of Allah, but you must have that faith in Him and in Him alone. You believe in the Akil. You do good. Then you are the rightful authority of a place as the masjid. Well, okay, the masjid has been built for the worship of Allah, as we said before, there are characteristics associated with the place of worship. And since the mortal man and the candy, and we for the candy, because the beauty of the masjid is the people. If the masjid is big but it is empty, then there is no beauty in the masjid. There is no beauty in the masjid. The beauty of the masjid is the people to so attend the masjid every day. That's why Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave this hadith. He says, "Salat al rajul fi al jamaat to dafu Allah salat fi al baytihi wa fi sawqati kamsan wa ishrun al duafa." The prayer of one man, and for that matter, one woman. In the masjid with the congregation, the jamaah, the jamaah prayer is 27 times more blessed than you pray alone in your masjid, in your house, or you are in the market. Oh, ten dollars for prayer. That we also wanted. Come aside. Close up your shop, then you come to the prayer. You have that amount of baraka in the masjid where you pray with the jamaah. So that is an encouragement that we should be coming to the masjid. We should not stay back. Every footstep you take from the place you live onto the masjid, each footstep is an addition of baraka, blessing, and a subtraction of your sin. Take the mileage. Some of us are near, some of us are far. Alhamdulillah, all is good. Each step, if it's